hi, I'm Sammy, welcome back to my channel. We're back in Dragalia Lost and uh, chapter 14 has an interlude. Hopefully this will actually go into what the hell, who the hell that guy was. <laughs> oh, Princess Zephyr, why couldn't I? I don't know Ellie. Who's there? Oh, oh yeah, why Why did you let her go in the first place? I'll be taking the all specs now. Or should I say, I will be taking my younger sister. <laughs> no, you cannot be. Is that him? Oh. Hmm, you must be the paladin I've heard so much about. Elzan, was it? How do you know my name? I will repeat myself only once, Elzan. Give me Zephyr. Move no closer, fiend, or I shall cut you down where you stand. Oh, I did not realize it was the paladin's charge to obstruct the reunion of royals. But royals? You lie through your teeth. Answer me this. What drives you to take up your lance? Spare me your rhetoric. All I do is in service to his majesty. I see, and in exchange, what does your prince promise you? Nothing less than peace, of course. His majesty's heart is kind and his ideals pure. He will see this world free from conflict, unlike you! Ideals and kindness alone are hardly enough to bring peace. You risk your very survival by throwing your lot behind such a pitiful platform. Every force in the world is vying for supremacy while parading their truths and ideologies. To take them on with such lukewarm resolve is tantamount to suicide. Wow, dude, calm your tits. What do you believe in, Elizan? Not as a paladin, but as a person. I believe in Doopy. Fire cannot let his words poison my heart. I was robbed of my bloodline, my status, even my health, but I no longer care for any of those things. Wait, so if you're the seventh, if you're the seventh, the real seventh prince, why are you still alive? All I believe in now is what my heart proclaims. But that's enough of that. Now give me the auspex. A word of advice: a waving heart is quick to bleed. Oh crap! Oh shoit! Wait, you didn't even. You have lost. No, give her back. Give Doopy a message for me, won't you? Tell him I will be waiting with Zephyr at the checkpoint on the northern border. Who are you? Oh. I am Nedric, and I am. No. What? No, even if the history I read is true, there's no way you could. Do not forget my message, Paladin. Ah, oh, balls! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Well, that's that. I let his provocations take my mind and lost Zephyr as a result. I failed in my duty as a paladin. There is no excusing such weakness. Should I divulge to the others all I know, all that I have learned? Now is surely not the best time, but... Oh, goddess, what should I do? And then Ilya comes down and but actually, I shall tell his ass. Do people be like, well, I'm still stronger than them. Doesn't matter to me. Have we still not ascertained Ferris's location? I'm afraid not, your highness. Since he fled the capital, not a single one of our scouts have seen or heard anything. We have managed to track the movements of the Seventh Zion, however. He and his party appear to be making for the northern border, presumably to rescue the princess. He abandoned the capital to go after Zephyr. Just what is he doing? The water's churned quite violently. Must you sliver everywhere you go? Hey, chow. Come now, brother dearest, don't be cruel. I'd heard you were injured quite severely, are you well? It was hardly to be. <laughs> yes, you look as hale as can be. It does my heart well, but I must admit to some manner of disappointment. How excited I was to see my dear, dear brother weakened and wizened by injury. <laughs> Enough. Speak your business and be gone before my patience falters. <sighs> wow, some family you guys are. Yes, yes, I shall get to my point. You've been keeping secrets, brother, and I think it's time to share. Say, for example, something about the fifth Zion. I know you colluded with our father to seal him away in the castle, our little brother, whom I have yet to see with my own eyes. Yeah. I did not collude. I took over the watch after our father's death, yes. But it was purely out of necessity. The power of his black manor had only grown more terrible over time. Killing him was no longer an option. He had been in danger since birth. He entered this world swallowed in the most ebon of manner. <laughs> Killing him would then have been the best course for Albira, but father did not do so. Instead, he locked him away in the deepest re recesses of the palace. Now, Faris has freed them in hopes of harnessing the other's power. Damn him. He has put all of Albira, no, all of the world at impossible risk. Power so potent it can produce void dragons and consume the other entirely. It's no wonder Faris would set his eyes upon it. I've been concerned with Bao's activities for quite some time. As soon as I learned what he was planning, I shall send word. All of that said, however, I believe the North requires our most immediate attention. Jesus, you guys. I presume you've heard tell of a group that had been terrorizing Albira of late. They call themselves Agito. I've received reports indicating they're invading 
from the northern border, which reminded me of something. Before father passed away, he seemed terribly afraid of North and Grestea. One need only look at where he positioned the two of us, so far north from the capital, as proof. Of course, I have the foggiest idea what he might have been afraid of. Perhaps you might know, brother. Yeah. I do not. However, he did broach a curious subject with me before his passing. You are my eldest, Leonidas, and so I must tell you this in the event of my death. I shall not open my ears to such cowardly words from a king, even if that king is my father. Yeah. It is precisely because I am king that I must tell you this. Now listen well. If the time should come, you must do all in your power to protect the people of Alberia. They had believed in and supported the royal family, and you must never betray them. And when the opportunity presents itself, go to Grams in Northern Grestea. No. Grams? Why ever for? Mm. I have nothing further for you now. Should you go at the proper time, you will find your answer, and remember this well. What the hell, Grandpa? I mean, Dad? Eh? Grams is the city ruled by the Ilian Church. What could Father have been talking about? That's where Doopy's from! Knowing you, I probably already spoiled it. I did spoil the next five chapters. <laughs> Knowing you, you've no doubt sent your car cats to sniff around it already. Have you gleaned nothing? Yeah. No, not yet. I've begun to wonder whether the answer may lie with that Nedrick fellow. <laughs> hmm, it appears the time for my visit draws near. Then you intend to make for Grams? Yeah. Not yet. I shall remain here and wait for kilograms. Um, uh, for the main... <laughs> to maintain a watchful eye on both the capital and the north. That was terrible. Uh, with the other exiles, many eyes would doubtless wander towards the vacant throne, and Valix, who maintained the peace, has left on an expedition. Indeed, and what of the church? I am aware of the suspicious dealings. We must not show any sign of weakness, now more than ever. <laughs> You've been paying close attention, I see. Well, this was an utterly delightful rendezvous, but it's time I took my leave. Wait. Oh, is there something else? Or are you so reluctant to be parted from your sister? <sighs> Spare me your mockery. I want you to protect Doopy. Oh, no. My my, what a curious development this is. Why would you ask this favour of me? He will be embroiled in tremendous hardship in the days ahead. Your support will be most wel welcome, I think. Besides, would it not behoove you to hold a debt over him? You speak true, and yet, is it wise? After all, we still don't know his true identity. I know all that I require. He is a man who does not shy away from the truth, and he is my brother besides. Hearing that alone was worth the trip. I think I'll... I will think on your request, and now one last thing before I depart. If I'm not mistaken, there is still one member of our family who remains in the capital. I rather suspect we cannot count on him for much, but you know, food for thought. Ta-ta. Emil? You mean that fool of a sibling? Ah, oh, Emil! <laughs> Oops. Yeah, where was he all this time? Why are all interludes like three chapters long now? Uh, so the capital, so Alberia. Mm. I heard Prince Do Doopy is on his way north to squash some invaders. So As did I. I wonder if that means his battle with Empress Zephyr ended in victory. In that case, the lad's gone and left us completely ungoverned and unprotected. Uh. Too true. Prince Leonidas has shown no signs of leaving Valkaheim, and Princess Cheryl is holed up in Rovertail. Oh. Prince Valix too has yet to return, and Prince Faris seems to have just up and disappeared. Now hold on a tick, wasn't there one other royal offspring? Was there? Pretty sure we covered everyone already. Oh my god, nobody cares about. Indeed, excluding Zephyr, the late King Aurelius had only five heirs. Huh, I guess you're right, silly old me. They forgot about Emil. <laughs> what? How can you forget? That's a sample of what's been said around the capital lately, your highness. They don't even remember me? Those ignorant, tasteless, pea-brained sheeple? Why does my name not dance across their lips and twine with words of praise and glory? To sight who now sit upon the throne once claimed by the other. <sighs> to be fair, all you really did was sneak in after everyone else left. Oi, what was oi. that, you mewling cur? Yeah. Nothing, your highness, a gust of wind. Right, I'll prove my grandeur to you and all the rabble. Ho, oh, you there. Devise a scheme to coerce the masses into accepting my undeniable majesty and authority. Uh, me? So yes, you. Here, how about this? I shall count to five, and if you spell it something truly idiotic, I'll hack off your head and save us all further embarrassment. One. Well, wait, okay, um, oh, I've got it. The general populace is fearful of disorder and unrest now that the other is gone, yes? If you were to tour the capital and sow peace and comfort, you'd surely earn the people's approval. Hmm, hmm, yes, I like it. You honour me, your highness. You misunderstand. While you were busy wagging your tongue, I was all the while devising a plan in my head of... A coincidentally similar ilk. 
In fact, I would have shared it earlier had you not been hogging all the air in the room. Yes, the credit for this plan is mine and mine alone. Brilliant as ever. Yee. Like, what? <laughs> Me too, bro. Alright, everyone, prepare yourselves for a trip to town. Emil, you're a bag of dicks. Now listen, you're gonna hand over all your valuables and I'm gonna hand me blade to your face, we clear? <laughs> yes, you can take whatever you want, just don't hurt me. Halt, knaves. Huh, the hell are you? There's a meal! <laughs> you address the six signs of this great kingdom of Alberia, the true genius of the royal family, and a hero worthy of both song and legend, Prince Emil. Fear not, my cowering citizen, all shall be well now that I am on the scene. <laughs> Hooray! Uh... And you lot, there's nothing more to praise than stealing from lowly business owner barely scraping by. Listen, Prince, I don't know who you think you are, but if it's scrap you're looking for, then bring it on. You scoundrels leave me no choice. I shall bring the hammer of justice down upon you without mercy. That's your cue, minions. W what? We'll be the ones fighting. I mean, not that I'm always that surprised. Obviously, you dolt. I can't go getting injured, can I? Now attack! But right! <laughs> Come and get it, punks! Oh my god! <laughs> you imbecile, I was supposed to land the final blow! Might have helped if you told us that beforehand. Is it not your duty to deliver glory to your prince? You should have known the moment the battle began, and as for you... Huh? You claim to be professionals, and yet you cannot follow simple instructions? I told you to make the knockout flashy, you really put on a show. So, sorry, we just got a bit nervous, that's all. Maybe. Ugh, just do it like we rehearsed. If you don't, you'll not get a single speck of gold from me. Okay. Ugh, it is so difficult to find good help these days. Alright everyone, let us continue on to the next shot. What, so he's the wrong one going around? Well, you mean we're not finished? Of course not. Word of my strength and excellence must spread throughout the entire city, and so our quota is 10 shops a day. Oh my god, this guy. He really is the worst. Must I instruct you on how to walk, soldier? No, no your highness, I'm coming. I should have picked literally any other siblings to serve. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's a meal. Yay. And that's that. That is all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!